was 18 years old. Um, I came to uh, a local university in Alabama and uh, just for career day I was looking for something in medicine didn't really know what I wanted to do and somebody handed me a flyer and said do you know about nuclear medicine and I said no what's that and she told me of course my mom was totally freaked out and thought we were just being nice like okay thank you you know and I it's all I could talk about for the rest of the day and I was like mom this is what I want to do and since I was 18 years old I've had a passion for nuclear I'm 31 now still in it and love it. I was pursued there by a colleague who's himself a nuclear medicine physician, and the technology, the computers, and the medicine, the combination of that, uh, it was very attractive. I definitely was interested in having, contributing my chemistry knowledge to a medicinal application, and this was a really neat field to do that in. I volunteered in the hospital, and the only modality that they had that was that I could volunteer in is nuclear medicine. So I started off as a volunteer in that department. Uh, they liked me so much that I became the department assistant. And then as the department assistant, I went to school for my prerequisites, and then they hired me as a technologist. So my mom was diagnosed with Graves' disease when I was eight years old. And uh, we came to Georgetown University in the United States to get her, have her thyroid ablated. As a young kid, I thought that she was going to be in operation or on a stretcher and it will take a long, it will be a long recovery. The doctor basically, you know, went in, into a room with her and then after a couple, couple minutes they came back and said, well, your mom is ready to go. As an eight-year-old, I was very intrigued. I said, okay, this is magic. So that kind of sparked my interest into it. So I told myself as, a, as an eight-year-old kid that I will try to go to school and figure out exactly what this doctor made for, for, for my mom. So that was what got me into nuclear medicine. So I'm a nuclear ph pharmacist now, and now I can actually make I-131.